Each autumn in upstate New York, the Fasig Tipton Sales Pavilion puts on a sale for people looking to buy New York bred weanlings and yearlings. It's called the Saratoga Fall Sale. Whether you're racing or whether you're breeding, the awards are really significant. The, the purses that owners run for on the racetrack are dramatic. $60 million worth of, of money is available in the New York bred program for, for both owners and breeders. There's, there's no other program like it in the United States. Among the consigners at this sale is McMahon Thoroughbreds. They've been in operation even before there was a New York bred breeding program. We had an old barn and a whole bunch of Christmas trees. We had no fields. And now we've managed and own and manage rent, lease up to 1,000 acres. We grow all our own crops. And the program has helped us grow and achieve that. Ann and Joe McMahon, as well as their children, and now some grandchildren, are all involved in the breeding business in New York. Okay, 14 grandchildren. I am bragging a little bit. <laughs> the horse business is wonderful for kids because they can really do just about anything in it. You know, it doesn't matter what their strength is. There's a job for you in the horse business. Boyd Browning isn't the only one who recognizes the New York breeding program as number one in the nation. It's the purses and it's the improving quality of the horses. Trainers like Carlos Martin come here to shop for their stables. The horses are better quality than ever before. You have some great Kentucky stallions and they're staying right here in New York. A lot of new stallions like MC and it's an exciting time to be with the New York bred program. I have a lot of clients that really support it and being a New Yorker year round it makes good sense and the purses, like I said, it's the best pro state program I think around. Along with trainers such as Todd Pletcher and Chad Brown, many New York trainers now feel it's important to have New York breads as part of their stables. How about the New York breads? <laughs> yeah, they're great. Uh, it was a big effort today. Yeah, it was fun to be able to win a race like the Funny Side. You know, it's one of the best New York breads of all time, so exciting win. Many breeders in New York choose to belong to the New York Thoroughbred Breeders, Inc., which is a trade and lobbying group. Jeff Canizzo is their executive director. And that's one of the, the greater, greatest perks of about being in New York in our program is that it's one of the easier outs financially um, it mitigating some of the risk involved with owning because of the lucrative environment. So um, it's possibly one of the easier ways to get involved financially is by being here in New York State. In 2012, the New York Thoroughbred Breeders released a study that showed that everything equine in New York State contributes more than $4.2 billion to the state's economy each year. The right people are here buying, buying New York Red Weanlings, which is good for, for everybody. It's very good for the breeders. Well, I think the quality has risen dramatically. Um, and, and it's evident both on the results on the racetrack and in the sales ring. To learn more about why people are so enthusiastic about the New York breeding and racing programs, visit nybreads.com. This is Tracy Egan for the New York State Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund.